you. I'm going to be presenting um, a little project of ours that's very dear to us, 29 um, bedrooms in a passive house hotel. A pretty challenging standard, of course, in a hotel. Um, so we can set that going. At ground level, um, there is a gastro pub in the Heritage Building. Uh, and at level one in that, in that uh, heritage uh, element, there's um, some micro hotel rooms that they, they work together and a whiskey bar in the basement. An incredible team. Um, I'm talking for a big team with Bailey Ward um, who are at the back and, um, uh, and, and our consultant team and the collaboration with that and the client was an incredible journey. So our client was the Australian Nursing and Midwifery Federation, um, some 80,000 Victorian members um, and a lot of their organisation works on the principles of sustainability and respect, something that went to the heart of this project. Um, you know, we, we were working on this before COVID, but during and after COVID, this project took on a new meaning for a lot of us. Um, our site is uh, um, on the corner of uh, Victoria Street and O'Connell Street, um, and uh, to our south is the markets, and there's some long views um, of the site from the markets and some long views along Victoria Street. Um, opposite us, to our east, is the larger building, which is the NMF headquarters building. Um, and we know that building very well. Um, and these two act kind of as cousins. Um, we have a very, very small corner side of 300, <coughs> 300 odd square meters. So trying to um, get a substation into that site, as an example, was very, very challenging. And because of the, um, uh, the relationship between the two, that freed up a lot of space for us, but did put some limits on power. Um, there is some quite innovative waste streams already happening in <coughs> NMF, uh, composting uh, and, um, and biodigestion in their basements, so we were able to use that and, and push that through our building management and back of house laundry and some other things also been in and that happening uh, across the road. Um, we sit above a heritage building, a Victorian building that was remodelled in the interwar period, uh, formed a major part of our planning story of course. Um, and uh, the initial idea was to put a vertical extension above that building, retaining the existing structure. In pitching that on a very tight site to council in Melbourne, um, we were able to demonstrate through um, what we considered to be and what they considered to be um, a, a, a good design response, um, some ways of meeting the aspirations of the DDO without following prescriptively their setbacks. And so this balance between heritage um, which would have pushed us further back. Um, ESD um, and uh, an urban design and equitable development to this fine grain um, along, along to our west, um, mitigating between these two different scales of development was something that we recently had an email from council wanting to use this as an example of this kind of balance of planning outcomes um, rather than just, uh, you know, it's always a drama between heritage and urban design. That's uh, killed the the presentation. Nope. Okay. Um, so um, we have a, um, a relatively um, varied program, as I mentioned at the start, um, a roof garden of beehives, vegetables and herbs, which serve some of the other spaces, 29 hotel rooms, um, eight micro hotel rooms in this uh, in, in the heritage podium, a gastro pub and a whiskey bar, packing a lot into a 300 square meter site. I won't talk a lot about sustainability other than to say this is a groundbreaking building in sustainability and Andy at the back just presented that in the sustainability section. It is a CLT building um, which takes out obviously a significant amount of our embodied carbon. Um, it's Passive House certified something that in a building of this size and with a facade of this type was a challenge and uh, that challenge has been met. And the Passive House um, approach was something that was driven by sustainability, but also that was driven by the internal environment we wanted to provide in those hotel rooms. You know, we've all stayed in hotel rooms with the AC drying you out at night and the thing whirring away in the corner. These rooms are for, um, are for nurses coming and for families that are coming to stay, that might be staying for a day, they might be staying for two or three days for some of the education courses. And we, we consider this to be a significantly better environment. Um, in the plan, um, a, a wide-ranging um, 
series of, of uses through this very, very compact site. The core sits um, to our north and the views are to our south across the market um, and to our, to our east. Um, these bedrooms can be used uh, in a family sort of setup as well, so with those interconnecting doors and, a, and some kitchenettes uh, in some of them and a, uh, and a common laundry. Um, they can also be used in, um, for, for sort of multi-day courses and conferences, the beds split, we can get 72 people through the building in, in a room share situation. Um, at, the, at the sort of top of the heritage building, um, the building recesses, we use that for our structural transfer and that allows for our DDA rooms, uh, some wider terraces, which we also think will be popular for families, there's like a two bed apartment on that corner when it's uh, linked together, uh, and there is a shared laundry um, at that level. At the ground, again, extremely challenged for space. Um, the entrance to the hotel is off O'Connell Street, opposite its cousin, uh, the NMF headquarters, and then um, we have a, um, uh, our team are just about to open the, um, uh, the, 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 the gastro pub, which our, our hospital team have been working on. We're excited to see that uh, um, open shortly. Servicing is um, to, the, um, uh, to, uh, to, the, to the to the northwest. Um, and that comes down the laneway and there's a pocket basement, there's a lot of services as well as that whiskey bar in the basement. So CLT, um, the choice of that was, you know, because it pairs extremely well with the passive house standard in terms of building and ceiling and of course all of the other benefits, but um, the structural, you know, the structural, the minimising of, of, of load in the, um, in the upper part of the building meant that we had a lot more flexibility for taking some of those extremely tight spaces through the heritage building. Our facade was something that we wanted to change as you moved around the building, change as the light moved around the building, have some expression and relationship to the, uh, to the original building behind us, um, and have a real kind of link to some of the joyful moments in that deco facade. Um, wow. <laughs> um, so we're coming up through um, our site. You can see that we had the biggest tower crane on the smallest, uh, on the smallest um, site in, in Melbourne um, and I'm just going to get to some of our gable wall um, we have some public art with Bruce Ramos a friend of ours into the hotel room in a 26 square meter room we're trying to provide within our joinery and within um, within our kind of articulation some references to that CLT we've built in some of those waste uh, sorting and, and, uh, um, and other kind of elements of the design we have some desks that open and close to allow people to study there. And some of the detailing really reflects back to that deco kind of facade. We have some ar areas where we can interpret and put some um, information about the NMF, the history of them. 